Ben Mayer, Max Gordon, Dave Sparks, Cleese McFarlane, and Diesel Look Dave. Here we go. Start from the jump. Five laps. We'll re-rack them, stack them, and here we go into that big bank. Now into that tight corner. Who is that out front? And we are seeing that of the mastermind vehicle out front. So this bank, we saw Robbie Gordon. So much attitude and personality on the start. But uh, right now, that is the 57 taking a look at that truck, that mastermind, getting a little squirrely. And uh, that truck currently piloted by Bill Hines. That is the corner. I am really interested to see what goes down there. So Bill Hines leads the pack from start. We'll see if he holds on to that spot. So Bill Hines out front. Who is that in that second position? I believe that should be uh, the, the uh, who was that? Sorry. He's putting out a pretty good gap right there. Already out of the gate. I think that's Matt Carricker from the Demolition Ranch. Wow. Matt from, uh, yeah, Demolition Ranch. It's another spot that you're going to have to watch for some accidents coming out of that turn. It has a lot of speed going on that straightaway coming on this bank right here. Robbie Gordon was just running three wheels, it seemed like, that whole time. But boy, they're just having a major separation gap right there. Here we go. Okay, now we're fighting for it. On the bank, there's the 13-year-old that is Ben Mayer in that Winnebago truck going for, uh, was that Heavy D? Boy, look at that. Ooh, it's it's gonna have contact there. Squirrels for the girl. Oh, diving oh. in on the inside. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Well done there. Getting the pass. Getting the pass over Dave Sparks. So Sparks just got lapped. But I'll tell you what, man. That mastermind truck of Bill Hines currently out front. Well, he's putting a NASA gap on that. I mean, he is. <laughs> he, there's no There's no one. Dude, not, not even a contender. Way Listen, he's running. He's running his own race right now. And we're, and we're quickly like, oh, wow, look at the contact there. Oh, is that Robbie? That is Robbie Gordon going for it. Robbie Gordon gets the pass on Diesel Dave. Diesel Dave, says, they're cool. rubbing. Hold my speed and energy. I'm going to go and pass you there, kiddo. And there's the VP race. So uh, I'll tell you what, even though they're in the back of the pack, here comes Robbie diving in on Gavin Harlan. Boy, look at him there. Pretty clean through that turn. There's some tell. Their trucks are set up just to let it eat. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Dave Sparks dives oh. in. Gavin throws him into the wall. So look at that. So there's, so look at the 77 is Mad Max. He's our number one qualifier. Right behind him is Pops. That's Robbie Gordon in the number seven. Very obviously identical looking trucks, but you can only denote them by either the double seven or the single seven. So Robbie with the single seven, Mad Max with the double seven. Gavin Harlan with the VP Racing Fuels. There's Zoe in the pink truck. I mean, there's just a there's just a so much of a distinct way they have their truck set up. Him and his son both are able to carry that front left tire and just let it just run out strong through the turns. So there is Mr. Again, Bill Hines. Bill Hines not even being challenged, man. He's out there. Check, just... check him for nitrous, man. He seems like he's got <laughs> said that he's got a NASA gap here. Take him to the Gapplebees. Wraps around the hairpin turn. So. Seems like he's he's treading lightly there. Not not get too aggressive. Racing smart. He's dialed. I mean that that truck is dialed in. I mean it's it's pretty incredible how he's ripping around that high banked turns here at Bristol. I feel like he's on a solo mission. Like there's not even a contender. Nobody's even challenging him. You know, there's there's, there's, there's still two more five lap rate yep. basically. Yeah. Everybody else might be just kind of hanging back, seeing what happens. It's called three five lap races, correct? Correct. So Hines, a little wonky there. Not the smoothest line there for the 57. Airing it out. You can see the cones denoted. That race line now coming through. Oh, this. The, so here's the battle. Don't know the position exactly of the of the 67. That's Ben Mayer. Wow. But uh, we are looking with our naked eye over here, and and Hines just absolutely out front. It looks like a. Is that Cleeter? Where's 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 Cleeter? We haven't seen Cleeter. I believe he's in second. Well, look at him. Cleeter's been kind of battling here. Second. That is right. We have not focused on the man of the weekend. Oh, and look at this. Oh no, are we racking him? I think he's I finished. Will, I, no. I, they might. No, I think they're re-racking him. Take a look at the checker. Yep, for yep, sure. There's a caution. There's a caution. So that's a mandatory caution. Five laps in. And it uh, looks like, yep, so we are coming to a forced caution. Not that there is an issue with the truck, but this is exactly what we were describing, yeah. right? So here is Hines, who is comfortably out front, changes things up. Because now, nipping on his heels are the other 12 trucks. 
Yeah, I mean, do you like this format? This is great. I mean, I'm not, like I said, this is the first in-house uh, race that I've seen. So, yeah. of course, I've watched uh, Garrett's YouTube and seen that it's different whenever you're in-house. We're in -house, almost one, but, but he's still lost. Oh, wow, look at this guy flex. out here. It's weird flex, Robbie. Relax. Come on. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> It'll be an interesting dynamic to see what's going to happen coming into that turn yep. whenever after this. I feel like this next five laps is going to determine how the finishing five laps is going to go. Yep. Dude, that is Cletus McFarland sitting in second. Behind him is that VP vehicle, the, the VP racing vehicle, and that was uh, that is Gavin Harlan. So Gavin, only 23 years old, two-time winner this year, currently leads the points championship, sits in third. I mean, how cool is that to have Diesel Dave, <laughs> Dave Sparks out there? You've got Matt from Demolition Ranch. I mean, that's incredible. Yeah. Just be able to jump in these trucks and just let it eat. Yep. Yep. The, the variety. You know what? I feel like Cletus has some redemption. Here we go. We got green and we got green. Let's go racing. Here we go. Another five laps. We'll re-rack them. Hines, will he be challenged by Cletus McFarland, that fun haver, RTR, Stadium Super Truck? Hines gets another gap. Gavin Harlan sits there in third. Is he going to dive in on Cletus McFarland taking that wide line? And look at, oh, Cleeter tries well, to go Cletus for the was attack. Trying. Oh, yeah, he was. Again, we saw that notable video of, of Cletus almost winning and then just laying out, splaying out on that finish line in Long Beach. So Hines, McFarland. McFarland's closing the gap, though. Looks like yep. he's really trying to make it up coming into this tight turn right here. Let's see if he can go inside. Oh, little contact. In. Oh, Houston, we got a problem. No, we don't. Hines being challenged. Harlan sitting there in third. He's still he's still running it out pretty strong. I feel like Harlan's got popcorn in his cup holder right now. He's like, I'm <laughs> gonna watch the show. I got front row seats. And that's almost a better position, think, because they'll do another five laps and we'll we'll re rack him again. But Hines taking a, a very t oh, oh wow. Got, exactly. That's Mad Max and Zoe on that back stretch. Our number one qualifier spins. That's wow. going to that's going to be really devastating for the outcome of him. Gets pushed back to that final spot. Again, our number one qualifier. So Hines, McFarland, and Gavin Harlan sitting there in third with a uh, look at Robbie. Ooh. Oh, Cletus about lost Cletus. it there. Cletus gets a little sketch 5000 on the backside. Robbie Gordon sitting in fourth. He's the one that's got the popcorn, man. He's got all the butter, all the fixes. He ordered extra red vines. Because I feel like he's front row and center. Look at this. Well, look at oh. him battling right there. Oh, Robbie's flirting. Oh, oh Robbie's going to hit him with the block. Hit the block. That, oh, and look at that coming in from the back. <laughs> fifth to second. Wow, what a move right there. Robbie said, I'm going to get this block. From Not today. To second. That is the, uh, that's the 20, what is that? Is that, uh, is that, no, it's not Zoe. Robert, Robert Stout. Oh, that's Robert Stout. So Stout goes from fifth to second. He Come. dropped down and just took over. Uh, but look at this. Gavin Harlan gives it right back. Gavin wow. Harlan sitting now there in third. But yeah, Robert Stout comes up, living up to his name. A Stout pass going from fifth to second. <laughs> what a move. Absolutely just dumped on those fools. Those slap competitions. He's watching these guys slap each other around. He's just like, all right, cool. But again, Hines. This is his race to lose. Boy, look at that. Robbie Gordon just has that truck just set up, just a three-wheel motion. Just is that is that the fastest, though? That's that's what I'm wondering. It, it might, it, you know, styles for miles, but, hey, styles don't get you the win. For sure. Yeah, he went with that little block technique, and Stout shot straight down and came out ahead. All right, so Hines sitting, it's, it's Hines out front, Stout second, Gavin Harlan third. Robbie Gordon fourth, and that is Cleeter out there in fifth. So it seems like it's a five-truck race right now. But speaking of five, five is a magic number. You have to think how much attrition that front right can take. And we talked about this. This is good segue into tomorrow's race, the Bristol 1000. 100 laps. That front right will not last the entirety of the race. Neither will they have enough fuel for tomorrow. I'm excited for that. Yeah, it's like you gotta, said. Gotta tease it, baby. That that front right tire is gonna be definitely taking some abuse on this high bank track. So, I mean, it's only 15 laps for these trucks, but you never know. Yeah. Here we go. Right here, a little contact oh, right no. there, but not enough. Some pretty clean racing overall. They know there's a whole standalone event tomorrow as well. Here we go. Looks like the caution's out to re-rack them. All right. 
Let's go. We played billiards last night. Just go ahead and re rack them. Rack them, stack them, slap them. Yep. Click, clack, daddy's whack. That's me, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's click, clack, the end is back. Oh, that's what it I, is. I, 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 Sorry. <laughs> click, clack, daddy jokes. Wait, no, that's that. Well, we're both dads. So. Yeah, I know. It's all good, no? Yeah, click, clack, daddy whack. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm going to go with. Ding dong, daddy's gone? <laughs> oh, no. That's too soon. <laughs> Look at him out there, little style points. Yeah, yeah. Look at the camber on that front. You can see how much, how much, you know. You saw the, 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 you know, the the swag, the drop, you know, of the, of that rear suspension. That's how much travel they got. So Zoe's now bringing up the rear, and Hines, it's all him, mastermind. Can Hines hold off? Uh, these competitors are about to be coming hard known. They only got five laps left. Yeah, I think I think it's going to get a little malicious here in a moment. Do you think but Robbie Gordon's going to make some aggressive passes? I think so. I guarantee. <laughs> Do you think Mad Max come from? No. He, he, he just not 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 enough laps and not enough truck to go against these guys. Obviously talented, Mad Max getting that number one spot, but. Hines is putting on a clinic. He doesn't. He doesn't have enough clean air. Here we go. Back to racing. Five more laps for glory. Who's going to get the win? The first ever Stadium Super Trucks here at Bristol Motor Speedway, celebrating Cletus and Cars in the Bristol 1000. Well, here we go. Right here. Looks like Hines still out in front. Stout in second. Gavin Harlan sitting in third. Oh, we got some contact there. Talking about. Oh, that. look, look at that. It's in the side of Cletus. Oh. Oh, boy, we got a we got a pile up oh, right there. Mad Mad Oh, with that back left is popped. <laughs> McFarlands. This looks like more like a burnout rival car. Oh. Cletus goes from third to last. Watch this. Ready? So look at that. Boop. Mad Max gets into him. He rolls over that front right, and that is Cletus McFarland. And that is all she wrote for unfortunately Cletus McFarland, the fun haver. No more fun had. Oh, heck yeah, brother. Heck He's no. a little fired up oh, about that. that. Oh, look at that. Who's that? That's, uh, that's, that's, uh, gosh, darn it. That's one of the Diesel Bros. One of the Diesel Bros. And that is Diesel Dave. Diesel Dave. Diesel Dave and the Bro Camino, his first SST. You saw that front left. But Hines being challenged by Stout. Stout going for the pass on the jump. Can he dive in? Works it from left to right. Hines dives in. And no, he blocks him out. Hines. Hines gets is able wide. to keep him out of there. Stout's Hines. pushing hard. Man, put all the mustard on that thing. Speaking of Hines. So Hines there in the lead stout. Gavin Harlan third. Robbie Gordon goes in for that pass, but nope. Keeps it on that three wheels. Hines with all the clean air right now from start to finish. Can he make it a perfect race? He started in the front of the pack. He, he has hasn't been really been contested besides nope. in a few of those turns. So we'll see if we'll see if Stout can come up right here. This is the turn that everybody's kind of been struggling with. Uh, look at that little contact right there. Stout got into Hines' bumper just a little bit. Looks like we're battling it out right here. Bumper to bumper. Wow, here we go. Hines, Gavin Harlan, Stout. So Gavin gains that second position. Stout bumps back to third. Robbie Gordon sitting in fourth. What do you okay. think Robbie Gordon's going to do here? You think he's going to try to shoot it? He's going to try to go wide. He's going to dive in. You see his line. He's taking a more aggressive line and the attitude of that truck. It's set up very loose. I don't know if that's going to be a proper setup for him in order to get that pass. You see Hines, the attitude of his truck. It's It doesn't have that much, you know, swag or sway compared to what Robbie's going. Oh, diving in. Gavin Harlan going for the pass again. He's our current SSC points leader. Oh, Hines shuts the door. Keeps it tight, but can he, he makes oh, the pass. Oh, goes. Gavin Harlan Boy. gets a pass. That was an aggressive move, but clean. Very well done by Gavin Harlan. Tempering himself. You see that front right breaking and Stout now going for Hines. Robbie Gordon sitting there in fourth, still chomping at the bit. He looks like he's going to slide up maybe to third, and he does. But he's going to hold on to that position. You see Stout really locking it up. Look and at Hines. that. Robbie Gordon oh, got oh, shut oh, out, but oh, still no, in third. No. Robbie sits in third. So pass wow. Stout. Passes Robert Stout for that third position. Hines, who has not been contested, but Gavin Harlan, VP Racing Fuels truck, out front. Harlan's just putting a gap in there now. I mean, he is he's out there sitting it. He's got to be smart now. He's got to be real smart because he knows there's some serious competitors. You know, I mean, the, the wolves, the blood is in the water. How is Hines? How? Oh, the, the Look broken, at the truck. Broken, right, you know, right in the oh. way. Oh, we're talking about popcorn in front seat, but unfortunately, my boy Sparks is just chilling. 
Okay, so uh, there is... I don't know what that fight is for. That's Mad Max. That's for there. fourth. That's, yeah, fourth that's, and fifth. That is for fourth and fifth. So Stout, you got the 13-year-old of Ben Meyer. And I believe that might be Field and Treader, but right now we're looking at who's going to get the win overall. Harlan's up there. Hey, make some noise. Bristol Motor Speedway. Make some noise for the stadium super trucks. For sure. Coming out on top, Gavin Harlan styles for miles. The VP Racing Fuel truck. Let's see the speed UTV coming on down. Seen this young man race the stadium super trucks back in the day. And here he is again, our current SST points leader. He's out there sending it. I'm telling and you. And here's the checkered flag. Gavin Harlan gets the win from the Crow's Nest. And Matt Hines. And look at that. That is Robbie Gordon who gets third place. And uh, a great race there for Stadium Super Trucks. A great way. Again, a whole nother event tomorrow. I really like the re rack kind of format. Look at that, Hines. I wonder if there's going to be some words exchanged. Was he happy with that? It, it seemed pretty clean to me, right? He was just kind of waiting for his chance to pounce. And, boy, he yep. took advantage of it. And he was driving through his front window, not his rearview mirror. A lot of times guys get first, and they start driving out of that rearview mirror, checking who's behind them. He right. just went straight full ahead. So, yeah, pay, pay no mind to what's going on. You can only look at the, you know, look at the future by knowing the future by looking at your past. You know say? See, and, he is, and he's looking at the future. The re-rack does help because when those trucks start getting that separation, there's not really any lap traffic. So the guy that's out ahead, he's just going to run away with it. So whenever you get the re-rack, it makes it more competitive. I, I do agree with you. I, I like that a lot. Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's the right approach. So, all right. So, uh, again, looks like we are seeing that of Gavin Harlan getting the win overall. So, uh, again, Gavin gets that number one spot right behind him. That is... Mr. Haynes, and then Robbie gets that number three spot. So make some noise. There's your stadium sewer trucks making history here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Gavin Harlan, this young man, making him proud of the Continental Tires. And all of them running Continental Tires. VP Racing Fuels. Down to you, Spence. How we doing, buddy? I'm standing here with the winner of the very first Super Stadium Truck event here in Bristol. Great job, Harley. How'd you do, man? Man, that was a wild race. Uh, a lot of carnage, obviously. I just tried to stay out of it. Uh, ended up getting the dove. I see a couple of wrecked trucks. I think a lot of people know me here as the guy that wrecked Cletus in his last race. So I hope I don't have too much hate, but I'm glad I could put on a show for you guys. Uh, the VP Racing Fields truck was dialed and couldn't be happier. Awesome. Give it up for our first place finisher. And we all have been doing this, folks. We know that rubbing is racing, so all in good fun. Second place we have here. Bill Hines. Bill Hines making some noise for second place. Bill Hines. How's it going, everybody? Thanks for coming out, Bristol, man. Everyone give a hell yeah for Cletus putting on this badass event. Awesome. Cletus, here you go, brother. Hey, guys, Robbie Gordon wants to add a jump over here for tomorrow. You think we should do it? I heard one guy say no. Let's kick him out. <laughs> hey, let's hear it for Robbie Gordon and his crew in State of Super Trucks. What do you think, Robbie? You excited to be here? You know, um, when you mentioned it, running Bristol, I was a little, uh, I don't know about Bristol. I didn't know how you were going to make a track. I was actually over in Asia when you, uh, when you and Kyle came down and built a track, took a truck here, and um, this is cool. I think it's, uh, what do you guys think? You like it? Cool, yeah, we, uh, as you saw, we changed the track after qualifying. We'll change the track again for tomorrow. We'll put a jump right here at Bristol Motor Speedway, and we'll do a little bit of a chicane coming off the bank here. But what a great weekend. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming out. I can't say enough for all you to show up. Um, it's amazing the influence that Cletus has and all of his friends, and this is a great event. So uh, thanks for making the inaugural awesome. Let's hear it for Robbie Gordon. got to shout out a fan who lent him their helmet. <laughs> hey, Gavin's also the guy who flipped me in Nashville. Let's not forget. Uh -oh. <laughs> You're the one that wrecked him in Nashville. You rolled him over? 
All right, one short boo, one short one. Keep it, keep it short. We got to be nice. Ready? Three, two, one. Perfect, perfect. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the fan that gave me this helmet to wear for the race on my way here. I lost my gear bag. I'm wearing a random race suit that's not mine, tennis shoes, and a helmet from a fan. So shout out to you. Awesome. I got one last question for you, Cletus. So from where I could see my vantage point, I saw you drop a few places back and go off with a flat tire. How did that happen? I, I don't even know who hit me. It was probably this guy again. Because Mad Max. I, let's just blame it on him. Why not? It was no, Mad no, Max. Someone blew my tire. Who blew my tire? Mad Max. It was Mad Max. Max Gordon. His hood's messed <laughs> up. Isn't that five positions? Oh. I thought it was five positions if you're, oh yeah, the hood has to come up. All right, guys, well, thank you. Give it up for Stadium Trucks. Let's hear it one last time. And uh, who's ready for the burnout rivals? All right. Who thinks Robbie Gordon should kick off burnout rivals in his truck? <laughs> That's a unanimous yes. All right, all right. Guys, hang tight. Burnout Rivals starts here in about five minutes. One second. Before we do that, I want to get a We Will Rock You going to amp us up for Burnout Rivals. Can we do that? Can we stop those bleachers? You guys want to do this with me? All right, you ready? 